what you're looking at is a F350 single rear wheel chassis. I found in a junkyard close to the house. The guy had it for right good while down in the woods and uh, gave me a good price. So I figured I'd jump on it. But it's going up under the E350 van. And when I pulled the numbers on the front end, it's a Super Dana 60. It's got the 10 and a half inch gear and it's big. As you can see there, that's where uh, I got it. Finally got it loaded. It took two guys and myself one afternoon to get it out. And uh, I went back the next day and the guy moved all these cars. This whole path here was full of cars and he moved it for me. I took a chain and took the old Subaru you see ahead and tied a chain to the front end and just drug it up and uh, got it up on the trail. I didn't realize that thing would be as heavy as it is. I had no idea it would be that heavy, and but it's, it's, it's heavy. It took uh, me and two guys from work a right good while to get it moved as far as we did. But uh, right up behind this white car you see now, that's where we ended up with it. Then the next day I come and tied a chain to it and drug it out. But uh, this is where I was going back in to get the dry shaft out of. And uh, the deal was get everything that was on the chassis out. As you can see here, here's, I got everything at home. But the, like I said, it got cut off. The deal was get everything at front end I needed for the price. And you can see I got everything I could, everything I knew I need for the front end of the van. It's sitting right here, but I'm just waiting to put it on. A little bit more about this front end. When I pull the numbers up on it, it has a 410 gear and my van has a 357. So to save on gas, I think I'm gonna change the front end over to a 357. And uh, that's about it. I'm just waiting. I got to order the brackets to put on those radius arms to mount to the chassis of the van. And I'm gonna go ahead and order them in the next couple of weeks. And uh, as you can see in the next pictures on come up, somebody's put spacers under the springs. So I guess that's like a two inch lift. I'm gonna leave them on there for right now. I might pull them out later. After I get it installed, I ain't sure. But uh, that's about it. I'm just waiting to order some more parts and before I can start on this project. But fixing to go out and start sanding some rust on top of the van and so stay tuned for that video